and welcome back to Let's Wine About It. If you are new here, my name is Elise and on my channel, we talk all things wine and the things that make you wanna grab a glass of wine. We also just kind of talk about whatever um, is on my mind at the time while we enjoy a glass of wine. So if you enjoy or find my topics interesting, of course, I hope you do. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. For those who are coming back, um, hey girl, <laughs> if you have not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So today we are reviewing a wine that I got from the Biltmore States in Asheville. Me and my family actually spent Thanksgiving in Asheville, North Carolina this year and had the opportunity to tour the Biltmore Estate. Ooh, tour the Biltmore Estates. It was magnificent. If you haven't gone, um, definitely put that on your places to visit list. Um, it was especially nice like during the holiday season. We of course went, like I said, during Thanksgiving, um, but they have it all like decked out in lights and they've decorated the estates. Each of the rooms um, have been decorated uh, for the holiday season. So it was just really beautiful um, and just whatever kind of house you living in, <laughs> <laughs> this is um this makes you feel like you are living like a peasant um but yeah it is it's gorgeous the gardens were gorgeous um the rooms were magnificent that library and yeah so i'm gonna try and like throw some pictures up here um just so that you guys can check it out but it would be like a great little spot to go to on a date or with your family like i did um but yeah a lot of fun kids were there too so it's kids friendly kid friendly um but yeah but while i was there they have a winery on um on a site as well so me and my um the girls of the group went and enjoyed the winery and um surprisingly one of the ones that i liked the most was the rosé and i'm not even i'm not a big rosé you know girl i just it's never been if I had the choice of any wine, um, I've, I never choose rosé. But this one was was really good, and I um, I just mentioned it like how surprised I was that I liked it so much. And you know, my sister went and bought it for me. <sighs> Thank you, sister. She bought me the bottle of wine. Um, she's so considerate. So I'm going to be reviewing that wine with you all today obviously i have already um tasted it at the um at the winery um it's now about like a month so it's been in my wine fridge for about a month um we're gonna pop it open and give it a taste um and see if i have still have the same uh feelings uh, about it um but i do want to drop a little bit of knowledge about rosé and um the difference between a rosé and a white wine or a red. Some people may think rosé is like a mixture of red and white wine. And while that type of wine does exist in the world, very select few winemakers um, create rosé using that process. Um, rosé is typically produced from red grapes. So rosé refers to wine that has slight contact with the skin of the grape. Uh, the color of rosé can range from blush to copper to salmon to pink. So you have a range of different types of rosé based on how long that grape has um, had the skin contact and a variety of other different conditions, just like uh, red and white wines. So um, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's go ahead, pop this bad boy open and give it a taste. Okay, so like I always do, if you've seen my other videos, the very first thing that you wanna do when you're tasting a wine is look. So we're gonna look at the label on the bottle as well as the wine in the glass. Um, it's gonna tell you a little bit about the wine before you even 
um, not only taste it, but even smell it. Um, taking a look at it will tell you a lot. Um, first, we're gonna look at the label. So this is the 2021 Biltmore Reserve um, Rosé. So it's a fairly young wine. Um, a lot of rosés um, and white wines in general are going to be um, enjoyed young. Unlike red wines um, like Cabernets, Merlots that um, that develop unique characteristics as it ages and um, does well um, in the aging process. White wines and rosés um, tend to age. They become very, um, almost like vinegar. Um, so it loses um, the fruitiness of it and the structure of the wine typically does not stand up to the test of time. So that saying where um, age like fine wine is that a hundred percent accurate some wines are made to be enjoyed early this one is a, a 2021 um so fairly new do not let that um make you think that it is um less quality whenever you see like fairly new wines especially in a rosé or a white wine now we're going to take a look at the wine in the glass and so you want to get a white sheet of paper um, or white back background and hold your glass up to it. That way you can see the true hue um, and the translucency. Um, is that a word? Translucency? How translucent <laughs> the wine is. So it's actually a very pretty kind of orange salmon color. I'm gonna take a swirl, swirl this around in my glass and then what I'm looking for here is the legs. Um, formulating on the sides of the wine glass, um, which speaks to um, alcohol um, and, and sweetness level. Um, this doesn't really have any legs at all. Let me give it a good swirl here. So just based on that, I would say this has pretty low alcohol volume. Um, Rosés are typically um, on the drier side, but let's take a look and see what the alcohol volume is. That's one thing I did not look at when I looked at the label. And yeah, so it's at a 12.5. I wouldn't be surprised and I wish I would have guessed before I, I looked at the label, but that um, is not surprising, 12.5. Um, alcohol volume. Um, usually um, higher alcohol volume is going to be like maybe a 13.5, 14, 15. Are gonna, those are going to be high alcohol volumes that are going to pack a lot of weight um, and fire. <laughs> so this one is on the lighter side. Um, all right, so now that we have taken a look, we've opened up the wine, we checked out the legs, and we're going to um, give it a sniff. Okay, so as I remember, this has a really nice bouquet or nose uh, on it. Very fresh, um, right off the top, I'm getting strawberry. Um, sweet strawberry, honey. Something a little citrusy there. The nose on it is very light and fresh and sweet. Um, I really like it. Um, I would even say maybe like um, like a strawberry cream. Uh, what are those candies? You know the candies that um, came out when, um, like back in the day and they were like the Werther's, the Werther's strawberry like swirl kind of thing. That's what this is, is giving me. That's the, this, yeah, like a strawberry, what were those called? Strawberry cream swirl Werther's candies. That's what um, I'm getting here. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'm at honey. So I got the strawberry, maybe a little citrus, and peach. Mm -hmm. um, and very fresh and um, crisp. So beautiful nose. Um, let's go ahead and get to my favorite part, the sipping. All right, cheers. Definitely getting the strawberry um, cream sickle on the palate. Peach comes through stronger on the palate than it did on the nose. 
really no um, oak flavors. Um, no, no real like kind of earthy oak flavors that, um, are coming through. So yeah, very steely, very crisp, very fresh with um, a little sweet. It, that strawberry and that peach um, definitely pull through on the palate. But definitely say sweetness level, pretty low. I would say that's on the dry side, dryish, um, light body, um, which uh, coincides with the um, 12.5% alcohol, light bodied, dryish, um, fruit forward, zippy, crisp. Rose is known to be like that summertime uh, go to drink. But with the acidity levels, I mean, that was like a super juicy rose. And I always feel like um, those kind of wines really. Um, are great during the holiday season because those high acidity wines go really well with a multitude of foods. So as you're transitioning from like dish to dish, um, like high acidity wines, white wines, rosés can really stand up to all the different flavors um, and, and, and foods that you're eating. The thing with acidity is that like, it is a palate cleanser. So as you're sipping, unlike red wine, which is my favorite, but it is those red wines are more of a pairing wine. Um, you, you want to be more careful and strategic with how you drink red wines to get the best flavor from it. Whereas these high acidity kind of wines can kind of navigate through different meals easier. So while rosé is typically a summertime wine, I would definitely recommend it for um, a holiday meal. So it would complement a ham really well. Um, even like a thicker, meatier fish like salmon. Um, yeah, even turkey actually. Um, I think it would pair really well with turkey. The dryness um, uh, of turkey would complement this kind of dry but uh, acidic fruit forward wine. So yeah, ham, turkey, salmon, um, uh, stuffing would go really well with this as well. Um, so I, I think this is a great holiday wine. Um, kind of shake things up a bit with your family um, and you know everyone's going to be doing a white a Sauvignon Blanc or a Pinot Grigio but come in, bust out that rosé. It will be a, a crowd favorite guarantee. Um, also, I think this wine is just a good like precursor to a meal. Like it's, it's very drinkable even without food. So um, it's a young wine. It's something that, you know, I can see myself maybe like after work if I want a glass of wine sipping on this, which is weird for me because I am not a rosé drinker, but I, I could drink this. It I, it's, I can drink this. So I'm going to give it two thumbs up in terms of rosé um, and I definitely um, recommend tasting this wine at the estate because it's a whole experience in itself. Um, if you don't know about Biltmore, it is um, one of the homes of the Vanderbilt family. Um, if you don't know about the Vanderbilt family, I'll drop a link uh, to them, um, some history to them. Um, at, in my description um, but yeah so great experience great wine beautiful property highly recommend highly recommend the wine as well I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you want me to taste next um, as I say at almost all of my videos I'm gonna try to do this more consistently um, it does take a lot for me to get these videos up, but I love doing them. So, um, hopefully, uh, I will be seeing you guys very soon. All right, guys, thanks so much and have a wonderful holiday season. Um, a happy new year. Christmas literally just passed. This is the day after Christmas that I'm filming this. I will get it up before the new year. So, happy new year and, um, yeah, here's to a prosperous and unforgettable 2023. Cheers.